Mondo the Boss from Medina along with Chris Gomez here as what a crazy Tony the Tiger Sumbo as it has just ended. The Pitt Panthers come back and beat the UCLA Bruins by a score of 37 to 35. And Chris, it looked like UCLA was going to be the team that was going to come back and win this game because they scored a touchdown to take the lead with under a minute left to go. I think it was maybe like, what, 40 seconds, something 40 like seconds that? And they came the back, and it was just a crazy your, – your thoughts on this game? I mean, if you're a fan of college football, what an amazing game. I mean, the Sun Bowl, most exciting bowl game of the year. I, I said it right there. El Paso showed out, cold weather and all. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better game, though, on the field. I, I, most exciting game I've ever seen here in the Sun Bowl. Uh, UCLA just it looked like they clawed their way back, took the, le took the lead after the extra point by one. But credit to Nick Patty and that 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 field goal set up drive at the end with, with under a minute left to play no timeouts and uh ben Sauls five field goals on the day in in this swirling win what more can you ask for in a college game and of course Sauls got the uh, mvp for the uh special teams player of the game and of course pitch panthers coach was talking about how the team didn't panic when uh, ucla took the lead with under a minute left to go but if we can review the game quickly it looked like UCLA was going to run away with this game because every time they were getting the ball, they were scoring touchdowns. Pitt was scoring field goals. You're talking about the five field goals that were scored in this game. So at halftime, UCLA had, I think it was a 14-point lead, or at one point they are leading by 14 points, and it, quick, it very quickly could have been 21 points, maybe even a 28-point lead or something like that. But a couple, of, a couple of interceptions by the Pitt Panther defense brought them back into the game, and that's... That third quarter is where everything changed, where the Pittsburgh Panthers just came back and, you know, they basically took this game away from UCLA. And like you said, Chris, it's probably the best Tony the Tiger Sumble I've ever seen. Yeah, credit to those pit linebackers. Johnny on the spot with those two tip balls in the red zone. Those are game changers right there. All the momentum going UCLA's way. And, I mean, to get those picks, um, you know, DTR getting knocked out of the game late. Yep. But, yeah. Um, you know, their backup comes in, leads them down for an improbable touchdown drive, and I, I mean, just... Yeah, you know, it's crazy because when they're on the other end and uh, Pittsburgh was going to go for it on fourth, I think it was fourth down and go like maybe at the five-yard line and they were going to go for it instead of kicking the field goal, but then you had the uh, offensive... Uh, False, you had the false start, and they are forced to kick the field goal, and people, I was telling people next to me, is like, they need a touchdown. And they're like, why? They have a six-point lead. I'm like, because you should like come right back and score a touchdown. And that's exactly what happened because remember they had the fumble and they came back. But then for the fact that Pitt just came back, like like total total bosses came out there and were able to just, no hesitation whatsoever, drive down there, get in field goal rain, and like you said, ice cold. I mean, it is cold here in the summer. I ain't going to lie. I'm, I'm not lying to you. Uh, but for the, for the guys from Pittsburgh, that was probably a spring day for them. But for him to make that field goal solves like it was nothing, just a, a great way to end this game. Yeah, ice water in his veins, five for five on the field goals. But I mean, what what more can you say about Nick Paddy? Um, you know, being on the bench all year long. You know, not very game, very many reps in practice, and to come out here and perform the way he did. You know, there's nothing out there like you were ta we were talking about during the game on film on him yep. that gave UCLA a, a little bit of trouble there. But I mean. Credit to him leaving, leading that game-winning drive and, and spiking the ball with 10 seconds left. And, you know, that goes through the uprights. And credit to this, this Sun Bowl crowd. Both sides were yep. rowdy. I mean, it was an amazing atmosphere today. Yep. And, and like I said, the big winners are here, the uh, city of El Paso. And, of course, the, uh, the Sun Bowl Association putting together this game. Uh, finally, back to normal. You know, two years ago, this game did not exist. Last year, it was a game that they put together to the last second because of COVID protocols, things of that situation. So, uh, big props to everybody involved uh, putting together Bernie Olivas and his staff because a lot of people showed up and the weather was weird. You know, it was raining in the morning. Then it was at one point in the Sun Bowl, the sun was out, the sun was hitting me, but it was raining at the same time. It was very weird, Chris, you know, but at the end of the day, the uh, the weather gods allowed us to have good weather for, uh, and this is, this is football weather. You know, and just a tremendous event. Yeah, absolutely. If you're a fan of college football, these are the moments you live for. This is yeah. why why we watch these games, why we show up, why we put those jackets on, layer up, and uh, I mean, you couldn't have asked for an almost amazing Sun Bowl. So, you know. yep. So, so once again, the, the final score here: the Pitt Panthers come back and beat the UCLA Bruins. 
UCLA Bruins, it's cold. I'm kind of having a hard time speaking there, dog. Mm -hmm. Anyways, 37-35 was the final. We'll have the highlights and, of course, a bunch of pictures at epsportsnetwork.com. So for Chris, I'm on to the Moms from Dinner with Alex uh, Arroyo Chavez uh, running the cameras. Thank you so much for joining us.